Kathy Plemon. I'm the council member that represents the 12th district and I'm with Jim Akers who's the chief operating officer for the Bluegrass Stockyards. It's such a great destination. How did all this come to be? How did you get out here? Well, born out of tragedy obviously. Uh, you know, when, when we began to recover from the fire, our, our board very clearly communicated their desire to get the business back up and running as quickly as possible. Uh, we worked through the decision of staying in Fayette County very quickly and got approval and you know, we broke ground uh, September of 2016 and grand, had our grand opening the 11th of September this year so here we are. Well it's such a great facility it's a destination I doubt very many stockyards in the United States have uh, gift shops and, <laughs> and restaurants and can you tell us a little bit about what's all here besides yeah. the sales? Well we've got uh, I, I think uh, as of this week 20 plus other businesses that are partnered with us here uh, at one level or another, most of them with hard lease space and offices or retail spaces, local meat market, the restaurant, wow. the gift shop, uh, all of that's local. Uh, you know, the meats, farm to table, uh, local fresh product from the chop shop out of Lee City. Uh, the restaurant's operated by Duray and Friends here in Lexington. They also cater events out here in our facilities. Uh, the gift shops run by Amy Carpenter out of Paris and a lot of local uh, you know, jewelry, decor, uh, country items, just you name it. And uh, <clears throat> we also have RT Outfitters, which is a work in Western Wear store. Uh, uh, again, local people right here, you know, out of central Kentucky that operate a couple stores and they've done very, very well. And then our other major retailer here uh, in, in the marketplace is Breeder Supply, who was our neighbor downtown. And they that, moved yeah. their Farrier Supply store out here. We've got about 4,000 square feet, anything horseshoe they've got. Uh, and then when you get into more of the service oriented businesses, you've got commodity brokerage, auction and real estate, mm -hmm. hay and straw brokerage, uh, transportation, advertising. Uh, you've got two or three equine businesses out here that do nutrition supplements, uh, all the way to horse trailers, insurance, uh, oh and then, okay. of course, you know the classroom, the museum, the stockyards itself. So we we're keeping it busy. This is definitely a place to come visit, yeah, yeah. and that's right out here by the expressway, and you so bet. that's perfect. So the actual sales, the cattle sales. Mm -hmm. So I think you mentioned that you do that on Monday and Tuesday. Mondays and Tuesdays are our regular sale days. We start promptly at 8:30 each morning. Uh -huh. We sell till we get done. We usually break at 12.30 for lunch. Um, so far in the first two months we've been here, we, uh, cattle numbers have been good. Interest has been high. We've got a lot of new people checking us out. A lot of old customers coming back. Uh, but we'll typically sell till somewhere between two and four in the afternoon. And now folks from the public can come out and watch the sales? Oh, sure, sure, yeah. it's all public. Uh, there's a viewing area a platform out in the, the barn where you can actually go out over top the cattle and, and look at the operation going on there. But anybody's welcome to come sit in the sale ring and watch the sale. Well, with everything else out here, too, it's a sure. kind of a, you can do many, many things. Well, now, I think I, I was in there, I visited out here, and one of the things that you were able to take from your old location was the chairs, or the, we sat back there, it was kind of a, a deep well, idea. Well, the, the, the sale ring was actually built off of the plans for the old one downtown. Okay, that, that was the was. materials are all new, but the, the layout, the design, the elevations, all of that's exactly the same. The construction of the sail ring itself is exactly the same as the old one. Um, and we wanted to try to create as many ties back to the old place as we possibly could. You know, the brick that we've used in the floor, uh, here in the entryway, the museum, the classroom, wow. yeah. uh, is all out of the, that's actual material out of the old facility, so that's 120 year old brick. I was just gonna ask you, how yeah. old was the stockyard yeah. down that was That was the floor in the oldest part of the old yards, which was actually a buying station for Swift Packing Company at the turn of the, uh, around 1900. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were able to salvage about half that brick and use it out here. So it's, yeah, it's 120 years old. Oh, that's a really cool story. Yeah. Well, now, how many employees do you have here? Well, if you look at the stockyard operation itself, we've got roughly 50 employees. Okay. Uh, 
amazingly, we, we actually sat down and did this last week when we went through and did an audit of all the businesses that are partnered with us here. We got roughly 75 people employed up here in the front building in the marketplace. Oh, so you've got over 100 employees. Yeah, employed. yeah. So we, we actually have more than doubled the employment that we hope to create. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's exciting. Well, this is really exciting for the for the not just the twelfth district, but for Lexington, for the state, and the region. Because sure. Because you aren't you the largest stockyard east of the Mississippi. East of, east of the Mississippi, and we would be our Stanford location and this location are very very close together. Okay. Uh, one or the other of them would be the largest east of the Mississippi, depending on you know when you choose to measure your numbers uh, and you know collectively as a company we're pretty easily the largest livestock marketing you know company east of the mississippi and we'd be in the top probably four five six in the country oh wow that's yeah. quite a quite a coup for for yeah. kentucky yeah well so, kentucky's very important and yeah. not just in the general ag economy but especially in the livestock economy I think a lot of people don't even realize that. No, no. Yeah, that it's a big, big business. Well, let me ask you, you were telling me that you actually hit a Christmas bazaar here or something? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, you're, you're starting to do a lot of special events here. Yeah, we, uh, uh, you know, one of the things I tell most of the tour groups that come through, and we've had a lot of them, mm -hmm. you know, if you'd have told me two years ago I'd be hiring an event coordinator for the stockyards, <laughs> I would have thought you were crazy. Uh -huh. But we have an event coordinator full time. Uh, we have several meeting space and event spaces built into the building uh, to, you know, dinners uh, for 150 <laughs> people plus here in the central hallway. Uh -huh. We've got a classroom that seats 40 to 50 people, a conference room that will accommodate 30 to 40. The sale ring is equipped as a meeting space when we're not using it to sell cattle. Fully AV capable, great sound system, seats about 250. So there's all kinds wow, of neat alternative space yeah. out here for the community to use. Uh, we've had a lot of ag groups utilizing it, but then we've, we've just had a ton of groups from the community yeah. utilize it. And uh, it's been really fun. Yeah, it's been I'm really fun. sure there's a lot of interest in, um, as, as you shared, Public's open. I mean, come yeah. out here. There's so much more to do than just the cattle yeah. sales. The, the cattle sales are kind of fun to yeah. watch too. Yeah. So we, I think you told me that it's it, it's really easy to uh, follow you on Facebook. That sure. that's where you're going to have most of your. Is it just Bluegrass Stockyards on yeah. Facebook? Yeah. Uh, look for Bluegrass Stockyards. We also have a separate page page for the Bluegrass Stockyards Marketplace. Okay. Which is kind of the front building here with a lot of the events. But we, we got a very active presence mm -hmm. um, <coughs> on social media. Uh, we, we also have our websites okay. for both the stockyards and the Bluegrass Regional Marketplace where people can follow upcoming events and what's going on, schedules, those kinds good. of things. Yeah. Good, good. Well, congratulations, Jim Thank Akers, you. because this is really, really a, a nice de destination for so many people to come out and see here at the Bluegrass Stockyards out on um, Ironworks Pike, close to 75, mm -hmm. and it's worth a visit and then some. So, Jim, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations again.